Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we're going to try this one. Um, we're going to use so uh, because these bricks they are uh, the angles, the angle of these bricks are uh, different. So you can see this one's almost ninety degree. This one's might be uh, like a ten degree or something like that. <laughs> so um, uh, we're going to use adaptive family. Okay, so let's uh, try this. So first, uh, we need to create a adaptive family. So um, it will be one of the brick, uh, one of the, these bricks. Okay, so uh, okay, so we're going to place one point, and then uh, make it adaptive point, and then create reference line rectangle. Draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this horizontal work plan, and then we're just going to draw a, a, a rectangle. So a brick, uh, we're going to, so it's, um, we're going to change the size. So tab, select one of this. So uh, let's make it uh, 230. So, so uh, the, this will be the uh, standard Aust Australian brick. brick. Okay. okay. And then, um, it will be 76 and then we just need to move to uh, to the center so M V and type S2 and we're going to or maybe just click on top so it's easier zoom in okay so let's start again M V move S2 snap uh, two points okay and then snap onto this point so now this uh, this profile is uh, centered um, and then we can select this and create form click and then we just need to uh, it will be 110 so this is one of the brick okay so and uh, the next step is we're going to okay so we are going to uh, try to create the angle okay so we need another uh, adaptive f uh, family okay in this adaptive family we need two po adaptive points and so create a two point and two points and may, uh, make them adaptive and then create a spline through points make a reference line okay and then we're going to place a point use draw on face and place onto this Select this point and change the measure, measurement type to segment length. And then we just need to, so because when you look at this, the gap between, so e for each one will be the length of the brick. So let's just make it 240. Okay. 240 for this. And then we just need to select both this point and this point and create another uh, spline through points. Okay, and then make it reference line. So now we have so this so tab we have this long one. Okay, so let's hh just temporarily hide it. So this one, this one will be the the reference line. So we're going to um, place a point use draw on face and place onto onto this midpoint, and then we're going to place that uh, brick onto this point. Okay, so let's oh hell before we we need another point because we want this brick to to rotate um, on a horizontal plane. So if we directly place it, it will rotate uh, in the in a vertical uh, plane. So let's place a point, draw on work plan, set work plan, move your cursor onto this point, tab. So see this is a horizontal work plan. So pick this work plan. And place it onto the point. So now we can select this point, and um, we can. So it's e uh, to um, make it easier to uh, visualize. Uh, so change the show reference plans to always. So now we can see the see horizontal word plan, vertical word plan. Okay. So now we can go back to this family. So this is the brick. Adapt with one adaptive point. So load this one into here, and then we can just place. Uh, I think for this one, we can just use place on word plan and go here to pick 
the word plan. So pick this horizontal word plan and then place it on here. So now we can see looks like this one's um, on the it's not it's on the other uh hang on. Uh, yeah not sure so maybe you can do this select this one so I see if there's a like flip yeah yeah all good so now this is the uh, one of the brick with the angle oh sorry we haven't created angle angular parameter so but we we already have that point so h h so select this point there's this rotation angle so we just need to create uh, let's create an angular parameter so let's call it a instance okay and okay so now type hr so if we go oops sorry wrong one click on top family types so if we ch change this so it will rotate this brick so the next step is we need to we are not going to manually um manually rotate these bricks it will take a long time right so we're going to use a reporting parameter so use the d distance between point one and then point two to control to control the angle of this one so let's do it set word plan pick this uh, reference uh, reference plan on this uh, reference line dimension di oops di yeah and then pick this adaptive point one and adaptive point two so now we can se select this dimension create a, 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 a parameter so let's call it a reporting parameter report and tick this box and OK so now we go to family types we have this A we have this reporting so we still need one extra because um, because we we, we, we we want to control the rotation angle sometimes so um yeah I'll, I'll explain this later so i'll just create a let's call it n so it will be length and it will be a in instance parameter okay so click ok now so i'll just type this one just typing a number so for now so maybe three meter okay and then so we're going to use the reporting parameter to control the a so we need a, a for, we need a formula to um, f for this a um, not very um, you can there's a there's a arc sign so you can what you can do is you can use arc tangent or arc sign or arc cosine um, not sure which one we should use but we can always try okay let's just use arc sign arc sign and we're going to use um, the reporting parameter divide by n so which means we can control this one still okay so let's apply and okay so now let's have a test so if I move this point closer oops uh, maybe I'll go to top so and then I'll move this so now you can see uh, when it's very close uh, yeah so it looks like it's working okay so I think it, it looks fine but um, yeah let's just leave it for now so now we, we're going to create another so this time a family this time it will be conceptual mass and in here we're going to uh, use a reference line just draw a very short maybe a uh, line um maybe three meter okay so three meter roughly and then select it create a form and then select this form we're going to use divided surface so for the and then we we're going to change it uh, change this a uh, fixed number to a maybe fixed distance uh, maybe f uh, hell. maybe 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 f minimum spacing okay so same this one will be mi minimum spacing uh, 300 so this we're going to change it to 240 
for the minimums for this vertical so let's have a look so this one will be 110 plus 10 so 120 plus 70 um 70 76 may uh, plus one uh, plus 10 so 86 plus 120 so 206 okay so 206 oh sorry wrong one this one 206 so now let's uh, place those bricks so select this select this divided surface go to, go to surface uh, representation tick this uh, notes and then we go back to the one with the uh, reporting parameter so let's load this one into the family three and we're going to just place let's try okay so place uh, use to uh, place on face so I'm going to just place one here okay so it looks like the orientation of this family is not right so we're going to go back so see here under properties so there's always vertical let's check this box load it back over overwrite okay so now this is and then place the second one so the second one is not starting from here to here because if you place it this way it will be exactly the same so we're going to place this one starting the same point this point and then finish here okay so now looks like we um we need to have these bricks on the other side so let's go back here so um we don't need to move the brick we just need to change this one so make this one make this two so load this back okay and overwrite so now you uh hang on don't work <laughs> Uh, let me try again so create one here another one here oh interesting so let me just delete this <coughs> excuse me now let's select these two and click on this repeat okay so um, interestingly this one there so maybe just delete it uh, it won't allow us to delete maybe tab select del oh, hell, tab so this is a repeater so maybe tab again tab again select delete yeah good. so now here we have some issue so you can see here this one's not um, not quite right uh, not sure why but we can try we can try to tab select until we we found this one found this parameter so let's type sa select all and see if we can just change this one so maybe 22 yeah that's better so i think we just need to um i think this this is 20 30, 32 so maybe we just need to uh roughly match okay so sa again select all maybe 33 yeah so i think that's better okay so this is better so now we have this um, how can we repeat this brick vertically um, uh, unfortunately I don't think we can just select all and then repeat uh, we can we uh, we can just do another one so actually let me just increase the height of this a little bit so instead of you know have only have having four <laughs> so uh, i'll tab select this surface and then we can change this i'll just make it three meter yeah that's better so now just quickly create another one one two one two select this one two repeat okay so same tab tab select delete and we need uh hell looks like they are using this different different uh n different n so i'm going to tab tab select s a i'll just type in three three so now they uh they are matching right so so the next step is tab select so just you need to select the repeater and remove okay so tab select re remove tab select remove tab tab remove so now you can select two um, two of them and then repeat so it will repeat vertically so this is 
I think this is uh, how we can do it. Okay, so um, yeah, of course, if you know a, a easier way of doing this, please please let me know. And also, uh, yeah, you can of course you can. Um, I think you can uh, try Dynamo as well because um, if you use Dynamo, you don't you probably don't need to. You know, uh, use two adaptive point. You just only need a family with a uh, angular parameter, and then use um, like a distance uh, similar similar concept. So probably uh, like draw a line here, and then depending on the distance between the line and the family, and then change the angle. So, but <laughs> I think that's something uh, you can try so okay so these are the bricks and then let's have a look so there are also this solid one so maybe i'll just i'll just do this one so okay so so we need to uh, pr just add another brick here so and and also because they are different they are um horizontal i mean oh no so these are like uh um a 86 or 76 high these are one uh oh sorry these are one 110 or 120 with with mortar these are 76 or uh, 86 with mortar so we need to just create a different size so uh, we're going to use the same one so maybe uh, if you don't want to save as if you don't want to save as a different family you can also in here in this one you can change the name so similar to you save as as a different name but you, you do it in this one instead of you know uh, save as so I'll call this one a okay so now which means we don't need to save we can just use the, the name so it will not overlap so for oops so okay so now I'm going to just delete this solid and then I'll just make it 110 and then do the same let's go to top select the reference line mv s2 and then move to here and then we can create a form click and make it 76 uh yes yeah, 76 so now we have this new uh brick so load this one back into family 2 which is the two points adaptive family and then we can just um, how can we do it? Let, let me think. Okay, so we're going to HH just hide that brick and also HH this point, uh, the one with a uh, rotation angle. We're going to place another point, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan and place onto this. So and then we're going to offset this by uh, one ten. Oh, maybe a negative 110 so and then we can just place that family so the family yeah so this one directly we can this time we can use place on face directly place onto this maybe we need to flip it so now top hr we have oh hell this one's uh need to be <laughs> That angle so that's fine let's hh select this point maybe just rotate it by 90 degrees or type hr that's it load this one back into family 3 which is the conceptual mass overwrite overwrite and this is it so the reason why the gap looks uh, um quite big is because we use um, minimum spacing so that uh, the the gap can be uh, bigger than bigger than 10 but you can always use fixed distance if you really want to uh, right so what you want to 10 mil gap um, okay so this is it Okay, so um, I will uh, upload this family so we can have a play. Um, if you have any questions or if you have a better, better uh, solution, uh, better ideas, please let me know. Okay, so thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.